So I wanted to make a little tier list widget like you see right here where you have a bunch of images and you can drag and drop them into different buckets. So here you can see there's five different buckets here. You can sort them and move them around. And I thought why not this would make a good small little series where we build out a similar component in React where we have a group of images and sorting them in these lists like this. Now to do this I was looking at some different libraries that can support drag and drop like this and the one that I saw that looks very similar was a React Beautiful D&D &D list and it allows you to do a similar thing to what we're seeing over here um, and here's their example um, it's under multiple horizontal list stress test and here I can sort across like this can scroll and then I can move stuff up into different tiers so we're basically going to start from this example or at least in this video what we're going to do is simplify this example because the code's kind of uh, specific to this. Well, well, you'll see what I mean in a second. Um, and so yeah, we're going to basically try to create something like this using React Beautiful D&D. &D. Alright, so how are we going to do this? The first thing that I want to start out with is I went to the code for um, this story and I was going to try to basically replicate it locally. Obviously, I'm not going to do all the images and all this stuff quite yet. I'm going to bring that in at a later point. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started doing this. So I'll link this below if you want to follow along. Um, the other thing that I just want to mention is I'm going to be using this extension called Octolinker. Looks like this. Um, and so I'm just going to use that to navigate. So, like, for example, I want to see what this quote app component is. I can see it's imported up here so I can click on this link here and github usually doesn't have links for imports this is what that uh, extension does and now I can go to that component alright so that's what we're gonna do and I have create react app open right here and here is what my data set looks like to start with so I just said create a dictionary I said a b c and then each, this is my array of items, blue, red, pink, green. I'm just doing colors right now. And uh, yeah, so I have this in use state, got my colors, set colors, and that's where I'm starting off. The other thing to mention is I installed React Beautiful D&D, &D, and I installed the types because I'm using uh, TypeScript. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing stuff. So the first thing to do is I basically copy pasted this quote map and that is what my color map is. This is my color map. Um, and then they are passing it to this quote app component. So we're gonna build this out basically. Um, and I figured the easiest way to do this would probably be to copy and paste, but there's actually not too much. So maybe I'm just gonna go, go in here and grab the render. And their components are class components, so we're going to do a little bit of conversion midway through. Um, I'm going to import this, and I could, if you want to, you can go ahead and copy all their styled components that they have. Uh, I figured it would be simple to just remove the styling and add my own later on. So I'm just going to make these things divs. So this is a component that's coming from React Beautiful D&D, &D, but that was just a custom component that they made. Um, all right, so they are mapping through their quotes. Ours is called colors. All right, so they have the key, and I'm just gonna say, I think I'm just gonna say values here, because they're passing in the key right here. So colors dot map color, and then here we're just gonna pass in the color. Oh, it wants the key for this, so maybe we'll do entries. So what entries does is it gives you the key and the value um, of an object that you can iterate over. So we can destructure that with an array. The first is gonna be the key and the second value is gonna be the value. So you can pass in the key, key, and then the value there. All right, so we need to add what this author list component, we also need to do the on drag. Um, so let's do the on drag first. All right, so in their on drag, they uh, this is a callback function, and looks like they're calling this reorder quote map. I'm gonna copy this, and we're gonna rearrange it a little bit. All 
All right, so if I destructure this, this is where we're going to get the destination and the source. So that's what these two things are. And then their quote map is what our colors is. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this colors. And uh, so this function we're going to have to create instead of this dot set state, we're going to say set colors, which I have here. All right, so if we don't have a destination, that's just fine. All right, so let's grab this reorder quote map and I'm gonna rename this to reorder colors, I guess. All right, so it's coming from this reorder function. And I'm gonna again, just going to grab the whole thing and then we're gonna do some cutting and pasting. All right, reorder.ts is what I'm just gonna call it. All right, so we're not using flow. I'm gonna get rid of just everything at the top and we'll auto import it in a second. All right, so this looks like a reorder function that we can just keep the same. I don't think we need to change anything about that. The only thing I'm gonna change is I'm gonna say export instead of export default. Um, I don't think I need this reorder quote list map. And I don't think I need this either. So they are having an object here. I think what I'm gonna do is just pass in parameters one, two, three, like that. Be a little easier to apply the uh, type system for this. So what is the types for these three items? If we go back over here, we can hover and see. So source is a draggable location and destination is draggable location. And that looks like it's coming from beautiful. All right, and this first thing is just going to be a map. So this colors map. So our colors map, uh, I'm gonna just, I guess they're using this, oops. They're using this quote map name. If I hit F2, I can rename that to colors. I don't think it really matter though. All right, so I'm gonna rename or set the type for colors. So the key is going to be a string and the value is gonna be an array of strings. And then here I'm gonna just rename this to reorder colors. All right, I'm not gonna return or have an explicit return here. I'm gonna get rid of this type. And I'm not gonna worry about what the, what all the logic of this is right now. I'm gonna keep it in place and just kind of fix the type systems. Now you'll notice what they're returning is they're returning an object which has the key quote map. We don't actually need to do that because the way we have ours set up is uh, we actually just directly set the colors instead of calling this dot set state. So we can just return result. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say return here and not even create an intermediate result uh, variable. All right, so delete this and just gonna do the exact same thing here actually. Just return this object. All right. And I think everything else is good. So I'm gonna just go back to the app and call that function, reorder colors. And then we can come in and fix it if something is off. And then we're not passing in an object anymore. And let's see what we're doing wrong. So it looks like a dictionary that is has a string as a key. We can't just call set colors for it. Um, unless we say we can set the type of it here and I'm going to create a new file here, which I'm going to say types and I'm going to export interface. No, actually it's just going to be a regular type. I want to just copy this type so I can reuse it in multiple places. This is my color map. So we're going to just, now that we named that type, we're going to use it here and I'm going to use it over here. So we need to be explicit about uh, what the type was for this because it was not using a generic. Um, so if we hovered over this, we see it's of the type color. 
Um, but if I did not explicitly put that there, you'll notice the type is an object which has the key ABC. So we needed to make it so it wasn't has, have the keys ABC, but it could have any generic key. All right, so let's create this authors list next. So where is that coming from? It's primitives. And let's grab that whole thing. And author, not authors. All right. So I think I'm going to get it working as a class first and then go back and convert it into a uh, function. All right. So at the top, I think I'm going to kill everything except for just the React. And then this is coming from React Beautiful D&D. &D. And again, I'm not going to worry about their styling for this. And the props, I'm just going to say interface to change this from flow to TypeScript because they wrote theirs in flow. And then for ours, it's going to be called colors. And what is colors? Colors is a color map. Actually, no, it's not. It's just a string array because this is going to be the value because if we go back we are uh, mapping over the colors and then we're passing the value into this quotes object I'm going to call it colors I think I should just rename this to a B colors map color map that'll make the most sense so we have a color map which is this thing and then colors is a, an array of strings alright let's come back to our authors list so colors and they have list type internal scroll I guess I'll keep all that junk for now say react.component and I'm gonna say export instead of export default I'm gonna keep this static default prop for now droppable provided so I hit uh, command period to auto import this and this is going to be colors and now instead of a container we're gonna say div div and then down here we don't need to rename or set the types we should get them automatically I'm gonna rename this wrapper to a div um, and we don't need really need to pass is dragging over right now we may add that later scroll container can just be a div all right drop zone can be a div and then author can be a div too so this inner div here is what we're actually going to be rendering uh, in this case it's going to be a color So we don't have an ID, the color itself is the ID. We don't need to have the type definitions there. Uh, TypeScript will inherit them, so if we hover over we can see what they are. Alright, so inside of this div I'm going to have another div. reason why is I actually want to just set this as uh, the background color. And I don't think, I think the styles are going to be overwritten um, up there. So I'm going to say color style background color um, alright so this component I'm gonna have to go look it up as well so this is the author component alright so they are passing a inner ref and then they are calling draggable props and drag handle props and they're spreading it on there so we're gonna say dot 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 drag provided dot drag handle props and draggable and we're gonna set the ref I don't think we use the snapshot no cool so I think we have this set up correctly now I'm just going to import this author list and we're going to give this a try and see if it works. Yep, I already have my server up and running. 
let's come and see what this looks like. All right, so everything is on new lines. I'm gonna come over here and say, on my author list, display flex. That way we can see blue and red are on the same line. If we go to our app, blue, red, yellow, black. Black's a bad color because you can't see the text. Let's do tan. All right, so now we can move things around. Awesome, so it did work. See if we're getting any errors or anything. Nope, doesn't look like it. So nice. So it looks like we correctly translated things over. Obviously, it is quite ugly. Um, we just mainly translated over the drag and drop logic. So now, really the next steps that we're gonna go over um, is one, make it more styled something like this and but this is a good foundation we now have the drag and drop being able to drag into different tiers i think we should be able to easily add new uh, lists to this as well and give naming and stuff so that's what we're going to get into in the next video um, as you saw this was a little complex to get everything working from their example um, and I'm going to put all this code on GitHub if you want to just copy and paste it um, if you got lost trying to follow with this. Um, because, yeah, we did kind of a bunch of random junk to get this working. Oh, and you know what? I said I was going to convert this to a class. I mean a function. Let's do that real quick because that's super easy. So is combine, uh, is combine enabled? Say false on that. All right. And we'll just grab this, plop it in there. And we say react.fc for the type, pass in the props. Now we're gonna destructure them all, list ID, list type, internal scroll, and then the uh, render board thing. Are we doing in internal scrolling? We are doing internal scrolling. Um, okay, so we're running a div like this. And I'm not gonna worry about internal scroll now. So I'm going to now just copy and paste this. Paste it here. All right, and get rid of all the junk here. So basically I just inlined it. So now we have more of a nested shape. Maybe we'll split this into a function at some point or smaller functions. All right, so colors and there we go. So now we don't have a class. Let's see if we wrecked anything. Nope, looks like we still drag and drop just fine. Awesome. So that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.